the chairman of this committee, Jason Chavitz, was pretty good today, too. So we have to give credit where credit is due. Here's some of that interaction. Cut four, go. We have no basis to conclude she lied to the FBI. Did she lie to the public? That's a question I'm not qualified to answer. I can speak about what she said to the FBI. Did she, did Hillary Clinton lie under oath? To the, not to the FBI, not in a case we're working. Stop. Yeah, because you didn't put her under oath. We later learned under questioning from John Micah. Psst. Incredible. They didn't set up any of the usual traps. And by traps, I don't mean entrapment. I mean the usual traps. Grand jury, testimony, uh, use her own uh, comments against her in interviews, placing her under oath. They, di- they didn't do any of that. Go ahead. Did you review the documents where Congressman Jim Jordan asked her specifically? And she said, quote, there was nothing marked classified on my emails, either sent or received, end quote. I don't remember reviewing that particular testimony. I'm aware of that being said, though. Did the FBI investigate her statements under oath on this topic? Not to my knowledge. I don't think there's been a referral from Congress. Do you need a referral from Congress to investigate her, her statements under oath? Sure do. You'll have one. <laughs> You'll have one in the, in the next few hours. And let's see what he does with that. There is quote-unquote breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. The State Department itself is now going to probe, uh, investigate. Let's see here, the Associated Press. State Department reopens probe of how Hillary Clinton top aides handled classified information. Well, well, well. Maybe they'll find it uh, extremely troubling. Just not grossly negligent. But at least on the criminal front, she's in the clear. What are they going to do? Stop her administratively after the fact from getting classified information? And I hate to tell you, if she's elected president of the United States, she gets classified information. There's no way to stop her. She is, in essence, the executive branch. So that could be a little tough, you see. So, Mr. Comey, what happens when an FBI employee handles classified information the way Hillary Clinton did? Cut five, go. If Hillary Clinton, or if anybody, had worked at the FBI under this fact pattern, (coughs) what would you do to that person? There would be a security review and an adjudication of their suitability, and a range of discipline could be imposed from termination to reprimand, and in between suspensions, loss of clearance. So you could be walked out, or you could, depending on the nature of the facts, you could be reprimanded. But there, there is a robust process to handle that. Of course, she'll skate through all that because she's not an employee, is she? What about Hillary's attorneys deleting all this stuff, Mr. Comey? Cut six, go. They destroyed, as has been noted, 30,000 emails of Secretary Clinton's. Do you have 100% confidence that none of the 30,000 emails destroyed by Secretary Clinton's attorneys was marked as classified? I don't have 100% confidence. I, I'm, I'm reasonably confident some of them were classified. There were only three in the entire batch we found that bore any markings that indicated they were classified. So that's less likely. But surely it's a reasonable assumption that some of the ones they deleted contain classified information. Well, here's my question, Mr. Comey, that was not posed to you today. We also learned from uh, Representative Micah that the attorneys did not have a clearance, a security clearance of the level necessary to be reviewing these documents. Moreover, these same attorneys, representing Hillary Clinton, who didn't have these security clearances, when they unilaterally, that is, without consulting the FBI or even the State Department, determined that certain documents were personal, quote-unquote, they destroyed them. And they didn't just destroy them. They destroyed them in a special way. So even the most remarkable forensic experts couldn't recover the information on these emails. Now, why did they do that? Is that troubling to you, Mr. Comey? Now, you know damn well that ought to be troubling to you, Mr. Comey. I've never seen a case like this where defense counsel, or whatever you want to call her lawyers, unilaterally make these decisions and then destroy the information so you can never see it. He can't even go to a court to compel it. There's no point of even subpoenaing it. 
because it doesn't exist anymore. What do you call that, ladies and gentlemen? Well, you call it a lot of things, don't you? What about this comparison with David Petraeus? We have Elijah Cummings, who's there typically as a special pleader for Hillary Clinton. Doesn't give a damn that classified information was leaked to the enemy. Doesn't give a damn about the Espionage Act, of course, unless it's a Republican. Then they all switch hats and wear different uniforms. Go ahead, cut seven. So the question is, do you agree with the claim that General Petraeus, and I quote, got in trouble for far less, end of quote? Do no. you agree with that statement? No, it's the reverse. And what do you mean by that? His, his conduct, to me, illustrates the, the categories of behavior that mark the prosecutions that are actually brought. In clearly intentional conduct, knew what he was doing was a violation of the law. Oh, cut it out. So did Hillary Clinton. She knew what she was doing was a violation of the law. That's why the cover-up. Oh, cut it out. Elijah Cummings. Absolutely useless blowhard. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, a uh, dear friend of mine, Jan LaRue, sent me a, uh, a link to the FBI website and a long list of prosecutions under the gross negligence standard. Killing of another person through gross negligence. Man sentenced to involuntary manslaughter under the gross negligence standard. Man pleads guilty to involuntary manslaughter under the gross negligence standard. Let's see, man who posed as Wellsville doctor sentenced for health care fraud under the gross negligence standard. All kinds of prosecutions under the gross negligence and negligence standard.